Let's now focus on string types. We focused on numeric types, including tiny integers, medium integers, small integers, and the like. And we've shown you what occurs when you incorrectly define the type for a given column and end up having your data truncated. Well, similar rules apply to character types as well as other types or string types. So the first string time that, type that we'd like to focus on is car because it's commonly used across all DBMSs. So this section is labeled string types and we'll begin by discussing car. Car is also referred to in other DBMSs as NCAR for national character and car supports a limit of up to, within MySQL that is, of up to 255 characters. So limit is 255 characters. It's an 8-bit based field type. So in other words, it supports 8-bit values or up to 8-bit character lengths, which we should state. So character lengths is a better way of, of mentioning it, which means you can actually store a character string, let's say a paragraph from a document, but not exceed the 255th or 255 limit character or 8-bit character length without having to upgrade the field type to some other type such as varcar. Again, it's a common type for columns such as names, addresses, and other data, but it isn't necessarily the most efficient type as you'll see in the next section when we discuss varcar. But in any event, since car type fields are used commonly, we should explore how to use this particular field to our, our advantage. So let's take a look at a shell and we will describe a database to see what's useful from a car perspective for one of our tables. Let's do a show tables and we'll describe people. The original table we defined, you'll notice that all of the columns in people are defined as car 20 type fields. What does this exactly mean in terms of storage from the DBMS's perspective? Well, first and foremost, car type fields, or NCAR, but more ref commonly referred to as car within MySQL, store fixed length values. So for example, let's just list car fields store fixed length values. This means that if you insert a value into a car column, if the value does not meet the exact size of the character column, the database engine will pad the value so that it fits the full size of the column. So notice that we have four car type fields or columns defined in the people table. But there are names in this particular table that don't, or values for each of these fields that don't exactly meet 20 or 30 character spaces, which means that they're actually padded. Let's select star from people, and you'll see that there are various values, and each of these values are padded to include up to the size of the given column. And as a result, car type columns can end up using more space file system wise than a var car or other type of field may use. So the value that you see here, although it represents six characters, really is represented as 20 characters using an extra 14 bytes or 14 units of storage. So keeping that in mind, you want to define your car type columns as precisely as possible. If you think 20 is the maximum, use 20 or just opt for var car. But again, Car is very popular, and as a result, you should understand the ramifications of using this particular field type. So another note, car fields are right padded to fill the length of the field. That's very important to know. So if you place a value that's five characters, but the field defines space for up to 255, there'll be 250 blanks to the right of your legitimate value. Another important note regarding car type characters, and that is the fact that when you upload a value that has a trailing space, the trailing space is not preserved. So for example, we'll list this as trailing spaces are not preserved upon 
upload, or we should say upon insert, or select, which is another way of saying retrieval from the database, i.e., if we were to upload a value such as the following, let's use a first name of again the following, but let's say in between the single quotes the exact value doesn't look like this, so it isn't just the letters that you see here, it contains one, two, three, four extra spaces. The four extra spaces here will not be preserved, which is not the SQL or international SQL standard, so it's against the SQL standard, whereas with a different type of field type such as var car, it would be preserved. So when using car, realize that if you insert a value that has a trailing space, it will not be preserved, because car means fixed length, and it means that the DBMS, MySQL, will pad to the right of all printing text values, including the characters that you see here, spaces to fill the full 20 or whatever the definition of the field happens to be. So values are right padded and trailing spaces are not preserved upon insert or upon select or retrieval from the database. Very important to keep that in mind. So having said all of that, let's take a brief look at one of our tables. We're going to define a new table and we're going to create it with one column which is a character type column which we'll later on alter to show you how you can adjust the column for storing larger or longer values in this case. So let's show tables and we have one called numeric one. Let's define a table called character one. So we'll create a table or car test one for example. Well since we use numeric one we'll go with character one. So we'll create table character one and we'll set the values or the field that is to be used as a name or the name of it to be name followed by its type will set to be car seven to hold seven values or seven characters. This will create a table and when we execute a show tables again you'll see that there's a new table called character one. Let's describe it and you'll see that the field type is of character 7. Now we need to insert values into it to see how it's reflected when we do insert. So let's insert a value that contains only four characters, four printing characters. We'll insert into character 1 and we'll set name, which is the name of the column, equivalent to my name, which contains four characters, four printing characters. We'll follow this up with a select star from character one and you'll see that the new value is stored in there. This particular value however is right padded although you don't see it here. There are three non-printing spaces that you don't see here to occupy the full seven space. So that's important to keep in mind from a storage perspective. Now let's attempt to insert a value that exceeds the number of characters that this particular column will support. We'll insert, use our insert command again, and we'll just simply insert this is a test which will exceed the 7 and notice that it's been truncated and also notice that a warning was issued which by the way you can reveal using show warnings after the execution of a previously run query within the session at least and you'll see that the warning echoes that you have entered a value that does not fit in this particular field definition it's been truncated so this particular value occupies all seven spaces the space in between the two words this is is preserved because it isn't a trailing space because there still remains two extra printing characters and as a result the full value is stored in this particular field. So oftentimes you want to use character values if you don't you have enough space to, to use and you're not necessarily concerned with exceeding your storage. So for example if you have ample storage a character field might suffice but if you want much more precision you want to use varchar and if you don't have the upper limit limitation of 8 bits or 255 characters then the character field will work for you. For example let's alter this table 
and we're going to, we're going to alter this particular table and its column so that instead of storing seven characters it stores now 255 characters of the upper limit and then we'll attempt to insert a larger value you'll see that it's truncated as well so let's execute that alter table the name of it is character one and we'll use the modify statement to modify name to be car let's first try to make it 256 which is invalid you'll see that it fails and then we'll change it to 255 notice the recommendation is that we use a different type such as blob text or maybe even var car because the max is 255 let's rerun this however and extend the value to 255 notice no warnings were returned this time and let's select star from the character one table and you'll see, well first let's describe it now it's 255 the upper limit then we'll select star from character one and you'll see that it contains all the values we did mention in the previous section that when you increase the size of a column you tend not to lose data but when you decrease you will for example if we reduce from 255 to let's say 6 we will drop the S so let's try that we'll execute an alter table we'll modify it to, to car 6 for example this will generate a warning as ex as was expected let's execute that show warnings and data truncation occurred for the column named name at row number 2 let's rerun a select star from character 1 and notice the S as mentioned was dropped because we altered the table to store fewer values now again we could write a simple script that generates more than 256 values and attempt to insert it into the database you'll see that it fails but we've already proven that by trying to insert something larger for example currently if we describe car character 1 that is you'll see that the maximum we can insert into this particular field is a character value of 6 if we attempted to insert something longer it would fail no differently than when we tried to do this as a test it definitely wouldn't work let's try it again and you'll see that it truncates it generating a warning of course so keep that in mind and anything shorter will be right padded so if we entered a simple value such as the single character I and then we relisted it this single single character I is actually occupying more bytes than is actually being displayed on the screen so this particular value I is occupying its single byte plus an additional five to fill the full length of character six so it's, it's occupying the full range and is wasting space as a result so the character type column may not be the most flexible but in cases where you don't expect to exceed the upper range of 255 characters it certainly is ideal and if space is not a concern then you'll want to use character for common fields such as name address city state zip and so on now any character set that's supported by the DBMS will be allowed in this particular field so you don't have to worry about being able to support special characters if you, your database supports for example a wide variety of character sets then those character sets can be stored in the field without any problems whatsoever Now, next we're going to be looking at varcar to compare and contrast between varcar and car the major difference being of course that varcar on a per record basis adjusts the storage and as a result is more precise and is more efficient so next we look at varcar now let's discuss varcar or variable character type fields or columns We'll label this section varcar and varcar is really short for variable characters so let's specify it in its long name as variable characters there are a few key differences between varcar type fields and car fields as you know car type fields support a limit of 255 characters or is based on an 8-bit range or 8-bit character lengths so first and foremost varcar or variable characters character fields are based on 16-bit values 
So they're inherently much larger or can store many more characters than car type fields. That's one major difference. Another major difference is that var car fields preserve trailing spaces, trailing white spaces. There is no truncation unless of course you exceed the capabilities of the column and in most cases you shouldn't be storing that sort of data in a database since 16-bit base values provide enough storage for even the longest documents but of course you could always use a text type field to hold more values if varchar doesn't suffice but when you upload or insert values into a varchar type field with trailing spaces for example they're preserved so that's another big difference varchar fields preserve trailing spaces another big difference is that varchar fields inherently the name describes how varchar fields perform storage but varchar fields store data on a per row basis independently now that sounds like a lot but it really means the following so it's independent of the previous or following row for example if one particular row contains in a varchar field a string with four characters, four printing or non-printing characters, then varchar type fields will equate this to four bytes because it occupies only four, in this case the value dean occupies only four printing characters which represents four bytes. However, if the subsequent column stores a value which is six in length, for example, then the varchar type field will simply record or store on the file system this particular record as six bytes. This is a, is a big difference between the way car and varchar fields store data. With car, for example, they're fixed length. So if you define a car field that's 255 in length or 8 bit, then the database will pad to the right using all spaces for each value to make them fit a fixed length of let's say 255 bytes so all values end up looking something like what you see here and all values for each row occupy the same amount of space in this case for varchar it's six bytes for one value four bytes for another value now if we were to insert into the database the name Dean with let's say two trailing spaces then this becomes six bytes instead of four so let's move this back to four bytes and let's insert a new name. Let's put diamond, for example, with two trailing spaces and calculate the bytes. So from left to right, this becomes nine bytes. And as a result, would be stored more efficiently than with the typical character base fields. So this becomes nine bytes when you use a select statement or some sort of export feature such as select into out file to place the results into an out file. You'll notice that the row for this particular user, diamond in this case, would include the trailing spaces, two or three spaces, in this case two trailing spaces. Whereas within the case of car type fields, the two trailing spaces would not be preserved. So the key differences between car and varchar type fields include the followings. The following. One, varchar or, or variable character fields support 16-bit length values, which means you can store values up to 65,535 characters in length, much greater than with the car fields. Car fields allow you to store up to 255 characters based on 8 bits. That's one difference. Another big difference is that varchar fields preserve trailing spaces. If we upload a value or insert a value with spaces such as the final value that you see here or the final entry, the spaces would be preserved. And another big difference is that varchar fields store data on a per row basis. So one row may require four bytes for a given column. The other row may require six bytes, and yet another may require nine. 
and then you may have yet another row with a single value such as i which requires one byte so this is a great gain in efficiency with respect to storing text or string based data so let's take a look at our current setup now we have a few options here we could alter the table structure to modify an existing column such as name to become varkar let's describe character one this name field is of type character six which means everything that's inserted in here is fixed to six bytes in length let's execute an alter table statement so we'll go with alter table and the name of it is character one and we want to modify the name column to become varkar and we can then specify whatever length we're interested in. Now, there's another note we need to mention about varkar based columns and that is that varkar columns use one byte if the values are up to the maximum length of car columns so if you define a varkar column that stores up to 255 bytes for example in other words if you insert values that are up to and, e and equal to or less than or equal to 255 bytes then the database reserves or uses one byte for noting the storage required by the varkar column in other words there's overhead to using varkar on a per row per column basis each varkar column needs to store the information related to the amount of data that it's using whereas with car columns it's fixed if it's 255 it's 255 that's it for everyone this is a global application whereas varkar columns are applied on a per row basis so if you store values that are up to or less than or up to the size the ceiling of what a car column can store then varkar uses one byte so we should just list that as the following note if storing 0 through 255 characters varkar columns use one byte for overhead and we'll copy this to include if storing greater than such as 256 through 65,535 characters or we should say up to but really it's once you cross that 8 bit mark and you go between 8 and 16 bits varkar columns use 2 bytes for overhead so it adds some overhead but at least you'll gain the efficiencies on a per row basis for smaller columns so let's alter table character 1 will modify name to become varkar and this particular varkar column will store variable length data let's go ahead and find an empty space here and we'll paste that in and we'll need to specify the maximum size for this particular varkar field we can specify any size that we want up to the limit but usually minus about 10 or so bytes usually we're able to accomplish about 65,531 or so so you try until the upper limit because remember there are two bytes used for overhead and there are there's also a set amount used for the row size so let's go ahead and try to set this to 65,535 you'll see what we mean this will attempt to modify name and you'll see that it's too large if you scale it back to about 65,531 for example it permits the change of the field or the column to varkar let's redescribe character one you'll see that character one's now varkar sixty five thousand five three one and let's just see whether or not any data has been truncated by executing a select star from name or select star from character one that is which includes name and you'll see that nothing's been truncated but we can now insert much much larger data into the columns and also rest assured that each of the rows where it meets this particular column will occupy only the amount of space that's required and trailing spaces are preserved so let's find one of our insert statements and if we insert into character one set name equal to i space so let's give it two spaces and then select star 
this particular column now contains three bytes, i plus two non-printing characters or spaces, rather than simply i padded to the size of the field when using car. So var car is ideal if you want efficiency and you want flexibility and greater storage for text base data. It allows us to go up to 16-bit base values or 65,535 characters. You can prove it by just simply attempting to overload and just watch it truncate once you attempt to overload, at which point you would need a larger field type such as text or one of the text types such as medium which supports 24-bit values. Now you'll find that with text values they start off at 16-bit and then go all the way up to 32-bit allowing you to store up over 4 billion characters in the particular field. Varkar works pretty well, it's efficient, it allows us to modify on a per row basis the size occupied and it allows for greater sizes than car. Car limits you to 8 bits, so we'll just simply say 8 bits or 8-bit values, whereas Varkar allows or permits 16-bit base values. And more importantly, Varkar does not truncate trailing spaces. It's so important to preserve data from its source. A space could mean the difference between screwing up a data set or not. So if it is of the utmost important to, importance, that is, to, to preserve trailing information, including non-printing characters such as spaces, then don't even think about cars, use var cars because var cars will not truncate or will not tr yet truncate the trailing space. Very, very important. And if the data set that you're attempting to store can fit within 65,535 characters, then go at var car versus a larger field type because although you'll find that text begins at 16 bit base values and leads all the way up to 32 bit base values you may not necessarily want to use text type columns because they're not as efficient as varkar type characters and or for varkar type columns that is so you need to always keep in mind the precision of the data that you're storing and try to match the data that you're storing to the column types define your columns specifically so creating tables are not as simple as they seem you really need to think about the data that will be stored in each of those particular columns and then use the right type. So, so far we've covered several or many numeric types, including integers, tiny integers, and the like, floats, etc. We've also discussed two string types, including characters as well as varkar. Varkar you'll find to be the overwhelming favorite. And we've also shown you that you can use alter table. In this case, we alter tabled character one, that's the name of the table, and we modified the column name to be varcard and we use the value of 65,531 allowing values very large values to be created that exceeds your typical storage space for car now we mentioned that we could write a simple program that would dump values that we could attempt to upload from the shell if we wrote a simple Perl script in a separate window let's open a separate window and we'll use the pico editor to the final little script will turn on warnings and we'll include an end statement and we'll just write a little loop we're going to accept a value from the command line and that value will be the upper limit so let's define a lower limit so lower will be equivalent to zero and upper will be equivalent to what's received on the command line which is stored in a variable called arg value followed by open bracket zero close bracket and we'll chomp it just to get rid of any trailing spaces so we're going to perform the truncation of trailing spaces similar to character type columns by chomping the upper variable and once we have lower and upper we'll write a little loop which says the following we'll use for i is equal to lower which is set to zero and then we'll define i less than or equal to upper so we'll have it run to upper whatever upper is and upper is a value that we received on the command line and then the last portion of this for loop will be to increment i each step of the way to print the values that we want so we'll do i plus plus and then in between the curly braces we'll tab over and just simply tell Perl to print the current value of i 
on the same line. This will give us a series of characters that we can insert. So we'll print I, and then that's it. So this is a very simple Perl script. Let's attempt to run it. We'll save it as gen num cars.pl. Let's change mod plus x, gen num cars.pl, then we'll attempt to run it, giving it a value of, let's say, 5. And notice it's printed 5 values, beginning with 0, all the way up to the upper limit of 5, which gives us really 6 values. So if we wanted 255 values, we could go at 254, and this would print values all the way up to 254, including 0, which is equivalent to 255 values. We could then take these values and try to overwhelm any one of the columns that we've defined. But in order to get such a high value of 65,531, we'd run our process, and let's try it again, and then we'll send it to 65,530. We'd need all of these strings inserted into the table or into the column to try to overwhelm it. But again, with the large Varkar storage, it wouldn't make a difference because all of the values would be stored. All we want to do, however, is just output enough values to exceed the typical storage for car. So let's go ahead and do just 300 values. That should prove the point. This will give us the values 0 all the way through 300, which really reflects 301 values. We've copied it into memory. Then from a shell, Let's execute an insert statement. Here's the insert, and we need to insert the value right between the single quotes. We'll simply control shift V, and it looks long, but it will be inserted. We've inserted it, and this really only reflects 301. Actually, it's more than 301 values, because each of the digits that you see here represents one value, one byte. So we've used the number 300, but because once you cross the number 9, the digits become 10 or become two placeholders or two values or two bytes and then once you hit 100 it's three bytes so this is way more than the 300 bytes we envisioned but it's way less than the limit of the Varkar field 65,531 let's select well, let's show tables first and then select star from character one and what we're searching for is really truncation we should see in this particular field all the way up to 300, and there it is. So really what we wanted was to see truncation, but there is no truncation. All values from 0 through 300 have been preserved, albeit longer than what car would support, but it still outputs it, and that's what's important. So use var car because it's more efficient, but in some cases car may actually help you if you don't mind having fixed length data, and if you don't mind having trailing spaces. Ideally, the trailing spaces issue applies to names and addresses. For example, a first name, a last name, a middle initial, and addresses are all instances of data that should really not have trailing spaces. Zip code, city, state, generic information such as coordinates usually doesn't have trailing spaces and are good candidates for car type columns. But for everything else, within the range of 0 through 65,535 values or 16 bits varcar is the field type of the day with respect to storing text-based data so we're still focusing on string types we've discussed car which is also referenced as ncar as well as varcar you know the key differences major differences again we should reiterate because these are the two perhaps most commonly used field types car maxes out at 255 characters or at 8 bits really 8 bits minus 1 all of these values are the number of bits minus 1 1 reserved of course to describe the contents of the field and varcar stores up to 16 bit based character lengths include which means really 65535 characters car fixed lengths everything stored so if you insert into one row into a car column a value with four characters but the field is defined for eight characters that four character length field becomes an eight, eight character length field whereas with varcar based fields each record will store its value independently and car also truncates on the right any trailing spaces that is whereas varcar does not truncate any trailing spaces 
There are some other types of fields that pick up where Varkar leaves off. These are the text based fields. So let's list this section as text slash blob fields. Now within the text blob field section you have two types of fields with the same types of lengths or the same equivalent lengths. You have text, you have blobs. Text based fields store ASCII text whereas blob based fields store binary based data. So the values that we give you here for the text columns are similar to the values that are stored within the blob type fields at the same levels but the only difference being that blob type fields store binary data. So the smallest type of text field that you'll be able to define within MySQL is called tiny text. Tiny text is similar to car in that it can store values up to 255 characters. So this stores 255 cars which really makes it an 8-bit length column. The next type is simply called text which is equivalent to varcar in terms of its storage capabilities text stores 65,535 cars which makes it a 16-bit based field type but this is where text begins to differentiate itself from varcar and from car because after the the basic text definition or the text category we have what's called a medium text category. Medium text is significantly larger than text and is also significantly larger than varcar. Medium text can facilitate up to 24 bits of character length which makes it 2 to the 24 or 16,777,215 characters in a field described as medium text. In other words, it's a 24-bit based field. This makes it much more capable of storing more text than the other field types or the other string types that we've discussed thus far. Prior to the string types, we did talk about integer or numeric types, including integers, big integers, and so on, which have similar values, 32-bit, 24-bit. And you'll find consistently across MySQL, the prefixes are used in a consistent fashion. So medium int means 24-bit, whereas big int means 64-bit. Similarly for the text base types of columns, medium text means 24 bits. There is another name, instead of calling it big text, it's called long text. Long text is the maximum size text field supported by MySQL and its values are based on 32 bits of information or 4,294,967,295 pieces of in character or characters that can be stored within a long text field. This is a 32-bit base field. So if your storage requirements are such that you need beyond medium text or beyond almost 17 million characters, then define the field where you're storing information as a long text field and this will permit up to 4 billion or a little over 4 billion characters or 4 billion bytes. This would be considered a very large field. Just think about a 4 gigabyte file on your file system for example and even by today's standards that's considered to be a pretty large file and here we have for one particular row or for any row at a given column the ability to store 4 billion characters making it effectively a 4 gigabyte instance although it's compressed and optimized so it doesn't represent 4 gigabytes on the file system but nonetheless the field will store 4 billion plus characters in text format. Now we describe this section as text slash blob field similar to the MySQL reference documentation because these types also apply to blob type fields. The names are identical, so you'll find that there are tiny blob, normal blob, medium text, and long text type fields, and we can list these as well. So we should just put a forward slash tiny, for example, blob. Similarly, for text, you have text forward slash blob. Medium text, you have medium blob. And long text, there's an equivalent long blob. 
the differences being once again blob field store binary data so this is used for binary data whereas text fields are reserved for text based data which could represent various character sets from UTF-8 to Latin to any other character set that is supported by MySQL and we've shown you the sets that are supported by the default instance as it's downloaded in RPM binary format. So we have these text fields that are huge and again if Varkar is simply not enough to find a field as text. Let's go ahead and define a test field but we don't have uh, any large values to insert into it so we'll simply define it and we can insert basic information maybe a few characters but we don't want to spend the time defining large values as long as you understand how it works that's all that really matters so we're going to alter the table the character one table and we will alter it to include this new column and we could also upgrade a var car column to one of the text type columns preferably one that's at the same level 16 bits or higher 2432 and let's define this particular statement as add and we want to add a new column we'll call it name text in fact let's call it name long text and its type will be long text which means it can store up to 32 bits of text or 4 billion plus characters. Let's copy this into our shell. We'll paste it. This is a select statement that's going to run. We'll just kill this and show tables. We're going to alter character one. Now notice if we attempt to define this long text field without specifying a size, notice alter table character one. We're adding a name long text of type long text. We should specify the type of the text column that we intend to, or the actual size of the text column that we intend to use so right now we haven't specified a size we've just simply said long text there isn't a default that's assumed by the DBMS for example and when you see an error like this return it usually indicates that the row length is too long and as a result we need to clean it up or to make space for a text type column so let's take a look at the character one tables description to see what we can clean up. We'll describe character one. There is a, a length, by the way, for the row. And notice that we have a row with a Varkar column that's pretty long. So if we simply drop this particular column and redefine or upgrade the column, it would work using alter table. So we could change it. That's one way to, to address it, altering character one and we would modify the name column to become long text that's one way to approach it and it has and we haven't lost any data because a warning would have been thrown if that were the case now let's redescribe character one you'll see that the column has been upgraded from varkar 65531 to long text this long text column will store up to four gigabytes worth of information and if we select star from character one you'll see that we haven't lost any data although there isn't much data in there everything's preserved because long text is able to facilitate much more data than var car or even car for that matter but that should go without saying now again we could define blob columns for storing blobs generally even with today's capable systems it isn't recommended that you store large binary objects in your databases if anything they should be stored on your file system or throughout file systems and be simply referenced using the database databases excel primarily at storing textual information since what you perform against a DBMS is primarily text-based queries which rely upon certain, certain collation orders and sorting orders so really DBMS is excel at storing text but can store binary data via a series of different type or types of columns such as blobs of different types tiny medium long and so on now there are other string type columns that we haven't mentioned including binary columns and var binary columns let's just quickly discuss 
binary and var binary. Binary is similar to car and var binary is similar to var car. So there are two other types of columns that are defined with the same specifications as car and var car respectively. So in other words, binary will permit 8-bit base values and var binary will permit 16-bit base values which equates to 65535. But the difference being binary and var binary column types store binary info, binary strings, preserving everything. So rather than storing text, if you have requirements for storing binary, consider using either binary or var binary. Or in most cases where you store binary, it tends to be large objects, larger than 16 bits can support. So you'll then want to consider using blob type fields, long blob, medium blob, to store much more information than is typical of blob or tiny blob or even binary or var binary. But these types are there and they're supported for backwards compatibility and compatibility with other DBMSs and you should know about them. There's yet another type of string field which is pretty useful and that's called the enum field type. We don't even need to define this particular type because it's already defined in a database that we rely upon and that's the mysql.user, db, host, and so forth, the different grants tables. Enum allows us to specify up to 65,535 elements or 16 bits worth of elements, so 16 bits of elements, and these elements reflect the values that are permitted in a given column. For example, let's say you want to only permit the values, i.e., you want to permit the values without the quotes that are being specified here, y for yes or n for no in your enum type column. This is a perfect usage for this type of column because what it does is it accepts only these two options or, or n number of options, n representing the maximum, up to the maximum number of elements supported by enum. If you have a requirement to impose a specific selection upon users, use an enum type field. This way they can't insert any sort of data or any unsupported data into the column. So where you want to impose certain data or certain values, use an enum type field. And you can define an enum type field and specify in a list up to 16 bits worth or 65,535 elements that the user can choose from or specify when performing inserts or updates on the table. But these are forced values for consistency. Now we did mention that the default MySQL database contains tables which contain enum type characters. Let's take a brief look at the MySQL table. We'll use MySQL followed by show tables and you'll see the grants tables if you recall DB, host, prox privileges, tables privileges as well as columns privileges and the user table. Let's describe the user table for example. Since if you recall the user table stores global permissions to the DBMS and in this particular global table for each permission type besides the basic host user password fields which are car types if you notice car 60, car 16, car 41 all three of these columns now that you know what car means are padded to their lengths in this case 60, 16 and 41 with the password being padded because the algorithm renders 41 character length passwords exactly. But look at the other columns, especially the privilege related columns. These are global privileges. Select privileges for all databases. Insert privileges for all databases. Update, create, delete, drop, and so on. Shut down privileges. All of these different columns have one thing in common. They're of type enum with two elements, n and y. These are the only two options which can be specified in these columns, yes or no, no or yes. So when you have a requirement to force or impose certain selections upon your user community and applications communities, users mean, meaning subjects, which mean applications, users, programs, and the like, use an enum type column and just specify your elements exactly how you see them here in between single quotes separated by columns and the DBMS will permit only those values to be entered into those fields and it's done for consistency so 
if we select any of the priv columns, for example, select priv, insert update, let's do a select star from user. Well, instead of star, let's get user followed by select priv followed by insert priv. These are key privileges on a global basis followed by delete priv from user. For all of the different users, you'll see that the values are all forced. These are the super users on the system and they all have Y as forced options in the enum type field. Select, insert, delete. We could add update to that and you'll see that it's the same. Let's add an update. By the way, this syntax is pretty flexible so we don't have a space here but do have a space here, here, and here so you can specify it as loosely as you want. So these are enum type fields which you can define using an alter table statement to grow an existing table or when defining a new table altogether. So, so far we've covered key string columns that can be defined. And we've also looked at numeric column types, which includes integer, tiny integer, big integer, and the like. Next, we're going to look at date type columns, since dates are so important and are represented differently across DBMSs.